Welcome back to another PenPot tutorial. In this video, we'll be talking about constraints and how to use them in our designs. We'll see the constraints section of the design panel over here. Uh, we see it when we select an object. So all the different objects, the text, everything that we've drawn has constraint rules. And by default, those rules are left and top. And we see we have a drop down. We can change some of these options. What the constraints basically mean is how does this behave relative to the board? when the board's resized. So if we select our board over here and we resize the board, notice these things get cut off. Well, sometimes your users, you know, if this is a website, they're going to they're resize their browser and you don't want it to just get cut off. And so you want things to behave differently. Like the reason it's getting cut is we've, we're telling it uh, left and top. So we're telling this picture, always keep the same distance away from this left side wall and from the top. So if we change this to right, for example, and then I can select my board by just holding down the control key and clicking on the board. Uh, now, if I resize the board, notice this image is just getting pushed over relative to the right. So it's following the rule of always stay this distance away from the board, whether the board goes bigger or smaller. And it's always staying also an equal distance away from the bottom, but we could change that. I mean, from the top, we could change it from the bottom and say, now stay you know, glued to the bottom relative to where you're at now. And now if we resize the board, then it kind of, you know, behaves differently. And so we don't want it to do that. So we all, we want this to be glued to the top, which is usually what you're going to want. Uh, but as a rule of thumb, you'll want to have uh, things towards the right side, like this login button, we should move it over to the right. And things that are on the left side should be on the left, which these ones already are by default. Uh, this little picture here does the same thing as these drop downs. So notice this one, it's showing a little top and right. If we change this to left, then that lit up part moves to the left. We can do left and right. If we click this, it changes it to left and right, just like selecting the drop down. So the drop downs and the picture do the same thing, the, the little chart here. Uh, left and right, can you imagine what that's going to do? We're telling it always keep this distance away from the right hand side always keep this distance away from the left hand side. So if we try to resize our board now, what do you think is going to happen? It squeezes that picture, or it'll stretch it. And so it's like, look, I'm following your rules, I'm, I'm always keeping the same distance away from the right and the left and the top. And so that's what that that's what that does. And sometimes you want that to happen, you want to resize, you know, like this background, we might want to keep it always filling up the whole screen, no matter what the size of the screen is. Uh, but for this picture, we don't. We want it to be just to the right. Uh, one thing that we do want is this menu to always stay in the center. So if I resize this, notice the menu gets cut off if we resize from the right. But if we resize from the left, it just gets pushed. And eventually, it gets pushed off of the screen too. So what we want to do, let's come back to about 1280. Uh, what we want to do is tell this to be in the center. So we click on it, we go to the constraint rules for it, and we say, stay center. And remember, this is a group. If we open this up, uh, this is actually a group, we, we named it nav, it's our navigation menu. If we click on the individual text in here, notice they're ac actually all saying scale. And that's because if we change our group, it's going to scale the size of the text box. Uh, so they kind of have their own rules and uh, just know that sub items are going to have their own rules like a, this button here we told it to stay right on top. But if we click on the items inside of that button, this still says left on top. And that's because it's talking about and the, and the rectangle says scale. That's because if we resize this, it's scaling our rectangle, right? Um, they kind of have their own rules because they're relative to themselves. Uh, and as you play with them more, you'll, you'll start to recognize how that works. But this one now that we changed it to center, if we hold down the control key, now when we move this, Oh, we changed one of those on accident. Let's go back into that store. I didn't realize when I clicked on it, I had changed it. Where, which one is it? This one's going to have a, a different... Oh, we, we accidentally took it out of the group. If I left click and put it back in this group, now it's back in the group and now it'll... It just wasn't following the rules because it wasn't part of that group anymore. So it's, I, I must have uh, bumped that out of there. So now this is looking pretty good though. Um, one thing we might want to change this background here if we make sure the backgrounds all the way to the back which it is sometimes you'll visit a site and you want your background to stay in place so as you scroll you know the text is oh, 
the, the text is going to go up like all of this if we want to kind of create this look where this stuff is all moving but the background is staying static uh, we can do that let's let's take a preview before we do that and see what our website looks like so right now this is a presentation of our site and if we scroll down it just goes to these other parts of the site but if we come back here and we say click on the background there's a little button here that says fix when scrolling so if we click this it'll fix this image the image will always be top and left but it's going to stay here while we scroll and so now if we go to, to our view mode it looks the same oh actually we lost our elements on top but as we scroll it's staying here and everything else is scrolling but it's scrolling behind it which is not what we want to have happen the board is there so it shouldn't be doing that um, I must be missing something I'm not sure why that background is behaving that way but uh, in any event constraints are going to be very useful and very important and I don't want you to get them confused with the flex layout which we're going to be doing in the next video where you right click and go add flex layout that's going to help us more with text because one thing about text is this image if we resize the image notice it gets resized and stretched but with text behaves a little bit differently right if we resize the text it only resizes the text box that's why even if we set this to scale for example the text to scale over here uh, and we resize this our our welcome is not getting scaled it's just you know but it really is if we come down here now if we click on our text box the text box is smaller but the text inside is not and so we'll talk about how to accomplish that um, in the next video with flex layout but uh, for the meantime make sure you understand constraints make sure you understand how they're different from a line and distribute and then once you have a solid understanding of the constraints uh, you'll be able to better understand the difference between it and flex layout so hopefully i explained that well um, go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any and I look forward to catching you in the next video.